let me show you what is product bundle and how you can use it in ERP Next. Before we dive into the ERP Next, let me show you why you need the product bundle. Suppose you have a monitor that you have bought from one supplier and there is the desktop PC that you have bought from another supplier. And then there is a keyboard that you have bought and then there is a mouse that you have bought. So these are the components that you have bought separately from different suppliers. But when you are selling, you are selling all of these as one single item. But when you are buying, your buying codes are different. And bundle can also be used if you are selling like buy one and get one free kind of thing. So that way you can also create the bundle. But suppose in this scenario, you are buying multiple items from different suppliers and you are selling these on as one single item. So how we can do that in ERP Next? Let me show you that. For example, this one is our ERP Next here and I'll go into item list first and I'll see these are all different items. And before adding the items, I will just first of all see what is my stock right now. So I will go to stock balance. And in stock balance, I will see the stock available right now. For example, I have in this particular warehouse, uh, I have the stock available for these items. So balance quantity is 10 and 2. And for this one, it's 100. So I might use this one and this one. I want to use these two items inside a bundle. So we'll park this for the time being here and now we'll go here to item. So first of all, as I mentioned that we need to sell these all items together as one bundle. So we need to create one more item, which will be a bundled item. So what will be doing that? We'll go into the add item here and we will just edit this in full form and I'll show you all the options here. So suppose I want to create a bundle item. So I will say, bundle one two three four so this will be my bundle item comprehends complete computer whatever and item group can be anything suppose this is computers i will not maintain the stock of this because bundle itself doesn't carry a stock these units single individual items are carrying the stock but bundle itself doesn't have any stock so what we'll do here we will not maintain the stock of this bundle and then we'll go down here and in the purchase section also, we will uncheck is purchased item because we will not be buying this item. We will not buy the bundle. We will be buying the individual items. And in selling, of course, the selling settings, the item is a saleable item. If you see here, sale setting, so we can sell this item. So everything is fine here. We will create this new item and save. This is a non-stock item. Now what is going to happen here? This is a complete computer. We are going to now create a bundle. So how we'll create the bundle? We'll go into bundle here. And this becomes the parent item for the bundle. So I'll go to product bundle. I'll create a new bundle here. And parent item will be that we created bundle one, two, three, four. This was the bundle item, parent item. This will be complete computer. And here the items with this particular bundle, what will be the items and what will be the quantity? that will be going with this. Suppose one item is this. I copy by simply clicking this, it will automatically copy here. And I'll add this item over here. And its quantity will be one. And another item will be this one. And I'll be typing it here. And this will be going for example two. It means that for every one item sold in this bundle, uh, this will be the quantity of the stock that will be going out. All right, so we'll be just saving it. Now our first bundle is created, which means that whenever we will be selling this item, this item will take out these two line items and this will be the quantity that will go out. And of course, this bundle is having this bundle parent item. And this parent item should have its own pricing and all of that. And you will see here that this is the bundle. There is a bundle linked to this item. Now we'll create a sales order with this item, which will be bundle one, two, three, four. I'll be going to sales order and I'll create a new sales order. It can be anything. Here I'll choose any. And if you remember the stock which is available is in this particular store. 
I'll be choosing this tool here and source warehouse will be this and item will be bundle one two three four and delivery date see now the sales order is created of course with the item which will be sold and here you can see down it shows packing list which means that this particular item when it is sold these items will be going to what will be those two items these are the two items so i'll submit this for the time being and now we'll go to create delivery note and you will again see in delivery note the product bundle will have these two line items i'll just save it submit yes now as you can see that we have already sold this item and this item has been sold as a bundle if we go into view stock ledger you will see here that these two items will be out from the stock not the bundle item so this is how it will be sold and of course when you see the sales data in sales report you will see that that bundle was sold so the transaction has been completed so we can do here create a sales invoice and similarly, the way you have created it, it will also show you in the packing list that what was sold as an item. You can see here that the sales invoice has been booked. And if you see again the accounting ledger, so sale will be booked in this way. So this is all about bundle. Of course, we have not added the rate here. If you add the rate, then it will check the validation of that rate as well. So this is how you can create the bundle. And this is how you can use that bundle in the sales transactions.